Picture you're trying to read an article online only to be met with a paywall who won't let you read anything unless you pay money. Frustrating, isn't it? But what if I told you with a little bit of help from ChatGPT, we can create a script to bypass those paywalls in just a few minutes? And that's not all. You will not only learn how to create a script to bypass your paywalls, but you will also learn how you can write your own scripts with the help of ChatGPT and automate simpler tasks in your life. So let's jump right into it and learn how we can use ChatGPT to make our life more productive. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Shivalik and in this channel, I make videos which make you a better developer. But before we get started, I want to do a quick survey. Raise your hands if you are watching this video right now. Awesome. Now raise your hands if you have subscribed to this channel already. Hmm, you see, you don't want to be one of these guys, do you? So if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button now. And let's hope to make the hand raising ratio a little bit more even, shall we? All right, let's dive back into the video now. So if you want to automate a daily problem, there are three steps involved in it. Number one is to identify the problem, then identify a solution for it. And then finally, know what are the right prompts to prompt ChatGPT to get into a script which you can run. In this particular case, the problem happens to be these pages which are behind a paywall which I want to read. Now coming to the solution bit, I know about this website called archive.org where I can paste a URL of any website on the internet and they will show me a cached version of that website. Now coming to the third step, we are going to go to ChatGPT and instruct it via prompts to go from the problem to the solution and generate a script for us. So now we have asked ChatGPT to write a function which takes a URL makes a request to the web archive API and redirect the current page to the response from the web archive API. So let's see what it does. So now ChatGPT has successfully generated a code which would work, but again, we don't want to run a script in the console every time we come across a paywall, right? We want to make this automated. So now we can ask ChatGPT to convert this code into a bookmarklet. So what that would give us is a single line JavaScript, which I can save as a bookmark and on just clicking a button next time, it would run that script for me. Alrighty, so we have something which starts with a JavaScript colon sign. So let's go ahead and copy this whole code. Go to the bookmark bar and create a new bookmark. And in the URL field, this is what we would want to paste. Let's call it chat GPT paywall bypass. And let's save it. So now we have this bookmark and for this website, let's go ahead and try to click the bookmark. And as we can see, it loads the whole article from the archive. Now, just to be sure this really works, let's go to New York Times and try to open any article. And we can see this is behind a paywall. So let's try to click our script and let's hope this works. And it does. Now we have the access to the complete article right here. And we did all of that without writing a single line of code. How amazing is that? Now that you have seen how easy it is to automate some of our daily problems with ChatGPT without writing any code whatsoever, I'm really curious to know what other problems you can think of which can be solved with a code script. Let me know down in the comments. Hey, one more thing before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.